Hey everyone, it's Duncan Epping, Yellow Bricks, and today we've got a very special demo for you. What I'm going to show you is how vSAN ESA snapshots actually scale. So as you can see, I have a vSAN ESA cluster, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run HCI Bench with a 70-30 split workload with 4K blocks. And while I'm running that particular workload, I'm going to create a snapshot, and then we're going to be looking at the performance of that snapshot to see if it's actually the same while we created a snapshot as before so we're going to click on monitor to see what the performance is like right now now do mind that this is just a single virtual machine and my lab isn't officially supported from a hardware perspective so we're only doing 45,000 IOPS uh, but the important part is not the number of IOPS that we're doing the important part here is that there's no significant change when we create a snapshot so we're going to create that snapshot first. We're not going to include the memory. And after we've created the snapshot, we're going to be looking at the performance. Now, when we created the snapshot, the performance was around 45,000 IOPS and the throughput was around 180 megabytes. And as you can see, it's still fairly similar. We went from 45,000 to 44.8, 44.5. It's hovering around that mark. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to show you what the impact is of the deletion of the snapshot. Now, one thing I didn't mention is that I didn't create a single snapshot, but while I went through the exercise, I actually created a whole snapshot chain. So it's multiple snapshots, which are each multiple gigabytes large. So we're going to delete all of the snapshots, and now all of those snapshots are going to be converged. Now, the big difference here between ESA and the original storage architecture is the fact that we no longer need to copy the data over, but we just need to make changes from a metadata perspective. And that is why, from a performance standpoint, you don't see that significant drop that you would see in the past. Hopefully with that, we've been able to show you what the power is of vSAN ESA. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.